Hey, do nuts, new apartment, and now I'm over it. I'm really worn out from starting law school. Sorry, but I like to be relatable to my viewers, so I want to make sure you guys feel the same way I do when I hear or say law school. Seriously, I'm gonna make this a thing. And I know it's been like a month since I did this, so I'll make up for it with a quasi-interactive joke. The part of you will be played by him. Wow, usually my subscribers look more like this. You guys got really hot over the last month. Thanks, but that doesn't make me want to laugh so much as file for sexual harassment. And I would be happy to represent Just tell the joke. Okay, geez. What did the law student, after his first week in school, say to his needy subscribers who had been asking about a video for the last month? I don't know. What? He said, F you guys. I don't have to impress you. That wasn't funny at all. We were promised humor. We should sue for that. I'd be happy to represent you for that. Apologies for the imaginary swearing, but in my defense, personal, not legal, it has been a rather challenging week for me. Now, the course topics aren't that challenging, the concepts are easy enough to master, and I assume the reading would be pretty straightforward if I'd bothered to read it. Right? <laughs> right? I mean, who does that? I'm so screwed. It's been challenging because I have a brand new team of mentors called professors who take it upon themselves to help and guide us through our journey of legal studies. And while I'm sure that they each mean well, it has become painfully apparent to me that they are not all in concurrence with each other. One says Indianapolis is a great city, make sure you make time to go see it. Another says we need to spend at least 12 hours a day, six days a week doing nothing but studying. Yet another has said that we need to make time to exercise as often as possible so the stress does not inevitably kill us. Now guys, you know that I hate sleep, that I would just perpetually stay Stay awake if I could, but even if that were possible, there are still not enough hours in a given week to do all of those things. So it's no wonder that when I walk through the law building, I see sleep-deprived students. Hey. Hey. The objection! Oh, God. I think I just peed some. That'll make you have to examine your briefs if you know what I'm sorry. That sucked. Anyway, students who appear to be on the edge of a breakdown. And occasionally one or two students who look like they've already completely lost it. And it occurs to me that most of the stress I've encountered up to this point is due to the fact that everyone keeps telling us how hard and miserable our lives are about to become. And you know, if that's what they need to do to get their legislative ducks in a row, then good on them. But my ducks just don't fly in the same battling. That's what a group of ducks is called, seriously, I looked it up. It's the kind of thing I have to know, now that I metaphorically have some. My point is, hey, listen. while I appreciate the wisdom and experience of those who have gone on before me, I should merely let them influence my decisions, but only I can make them. In life, in love, and in law school. <laughs> Told you I wasn't kidding about that. We have to make our own path, and we have to decide for ourselves what is right. I have to choose how I read and study, and how much studying is enough for me, and when to end my own videos. Now. Hey, thanks as always just for watching. If you didn't like this video, here's a picture of a truly great inspiration of mine, Mr. Harvey Dent. He blazed his own trail, did things his own way. Do you know of any other lawyers who got appointed, fought the mob and the Joker, and then got half their face burnt off? I thought not. Originality at its finest. I'm so sorry. That wasn't in the script at all. I ad-libbed that.